Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a video on how to read an MRI of the ankle. Now, MRI of the ankle is pretty complicated. There's so much anatomy, but we have a step-by-step -step process we run through, and here is what we do. So well, first we start with a side view. This is called a sagittal view, and we look at something in the back here. This long, thick, dark thing is the Achilles tendon. We see it coming down. The calf muscles end, and then we see a black tendon. It comes down here to the back of this bone. This is the heel bone or the calcaneus. And we see, does the patient have a tear of the Achilles tendon? Do they have tendinopathy? Is it too thick and irregular? Do they have fluid behind it here called retro retrocalcaneal bursitis? And uh, also we look at the calcaneus to see if there's any spurring along the undersurface. And they do have a little bony spur here. And then we see this thing along the bottom coming off of that spur is the plantar fascia, this linear band here. So we look at the plantar fascia to see is the plantar fascia thickened? Is there any inflammation? They call that plantar fasciitis. And their fascia looks pretty good here, this linear black line. And then we go on to look at the bone. So this is the tibia. The big bone of the leg comes down here to the top of the ankle joint. This is the talus. The talus is round, so they call this a talar dome. And this is the ankle joint here. So there's, there's a bone here called the tibia. There's another one off to the side called the fibula, which is right here, a smaller bone. So we look at all the bones. This patient did have some arthritis over here in the front of the calcaneus. And the rest of the bones look pretty good. We also look at the bones from this angle. We see the tibia, the big leg bone, the fibula. Over here, you can tell uh, the tibia is attached to this little part that pokes down called the medial malleolus. So you know this is the medial inner side. You know this is the lateral side because this is that little skinny bone, the fibula. This is the lateral malleolus. And again, this bone here is the talus. On the other uh, one, it looked really rounded like a dome. This one looks more rectangular. But we look for the top of this carefully to see if they have what we call an osteochondral defect. They're fairly common, and they typically involve the roof over here. Now we go on to the ligaments. And I won't go into too much detail with the ligaments are all around the ankle. There's some ligaments on the medial side. There's several on the lateral side and one big ligament complex on the medial side. But we look at each one of these ligaments, which are actually very hard to see sometimes, and see if there's a sprain or rupture. And then the subcutaneous soft tissues around the outside to see if there's any abnormality. On this patient, they do have some bright stuff beneath the skin here, and the subcutaneous soft tissues, and that can be related to injury or inflammation. And after we get done looking at the ligaments, then we go on to the tendons. So the tendons, there's uh, several tendons here. There's three in the front here, there's three in the medial side, and then there's two on the lateral side. Also, you can see the Achilles tendon here on this view. And we look at it on this sequence, and we also have another one from the same orientation where things look a little bit different. And on this one, we can see the tendons as well. So to look at these tendons, the Achilles tendon is back here. looks good. We have three of them along the medial side here, the posterior tibial, the flexor digitorum, the flexor hallucis. These are these three little tendons here. And we look over here on the outside. We see a couple tendons over here. We see these two things, the, the perineus tendons. We call them the perineus brothers, perineus longus and perineus brevis tendons. They wrap around the uh, back of the fibula. And the fibula ends, and we see them go down, down. You see them together. This is the one in front. This is the one in back. And this is the brevis and longus. And we follow them down where they attach. One of these, the brevis goes down to the base of the fifth metatarsal bone over here. The other one goes underneath the foot and shoots way over to the first metatarsal base, so the first and fifth. And then we jump over to the front to finish things off. So in the very front here, we have the anterior tibial, the extensor hallucis. The extensor hallucis goes to the big toe, helps the toe lift up. And then we have the extensor digitorum here in the front. So we look at all these tendons to see if they have tendinopathy, tearing, or if they have fluid around them, tenosynovitis. And that is how we read an MRI of the ankle.